after five weeks away. And yes, we and to fill up uh, in Mississippi. We were filling up at a truck stop and Rick was hungry and there was no place there that he wanted to eat. And a lot of truck stops have several restaurants to choose from. And this one happened to have some that were nothing he wanted to eat and he was really hungry. We had the birds with us, so we couldn't go in to eat anywhere. So uh, we had to go get takeout. So we, he said, let's stop at the next one and see if they, if they have anything. And he, they did. So he said, do you mind going in and get me something? I said, no. And I went in and got him food. While I was in there, this gentleman, this young guy, he was maybe 25, 28 years old, um, was bent over in pain. And nobody was even looking at him. They kept walking like they never saw him. And he was a black guy. And I walked up to him, I said, are you okay? And he said, no, I'm in such pain. And he had his bag of food in his hand. So I mean, he was just standing there. And I said, um, would, would you trust me to come with me? My husband and I are healers. And he looked me in the eye and he just went, yes. And I pointed to our car out through the window. And I said, that's my husband in the car. They're gonna call my name with my, with the, my food and I'll just come with me. And they called my name right after that. So he came with me. And I don't know what Rick was thinking when he had to bring this man with me. And I handed Rick my purse and his food. And I said, this man's in pain and um, I need you to scan him, please. He's in a lot of pain. And as soon as he scanned him, I saw he was having a heart attack. And I told him, I said, um, I, I explained really quickly what happened with Rick and that he had merged with the creator energy. And that as he, as he was scanning him, I could see inside his body and I told him he was having a heart attack, but as that was happening, his heart was being healed and the arteries around it were being opened. And I said, if you take a slow, deep breath, you, I said, your pain is starting to go away, correct? And he said, he was shaking his head, yes, and his eyes were really big. And I, and I said, and I was describing, I can't even tell you because I was in this like trance. I was telling him exactly what was going on in his body. And, and by the time I was done talking, there was no pain. Everything was healed. And he was like, I said, you're pain free, right? And he said, yes. I said, you're totally healed. I don't remember the rest of the stuff that I said. I'm you telling him, you. You told him he was an angel. Yes. And I did tell him he was an angelic being. Yeah. He was here for a reason. And not only just to lift up the vibration of the planet but to i don't know what else i said i mean honest to god it was like a like a yeah. <laughs> you know how i get into this trance i don't remember what i said because it's all channeled um and that's what happened yeah. said if you have any other issues to call i didn't even get his name no. don't know who he is that's what happened oh but good but good for him divine time you know, we, we were supposed to stop there I believe that um, you and Rick have this mission to help other angels that are incarnated here and it's it's all divine timing but you know when we're in trouble you you step in well it's yeah um, we, we had actually stepped at, stopped at the exit before that and mm -hmm. I just gassed up and I didn't like the food so we went to the next exit <laughs> so that tells you it was definitely yeah and that was a, according to a friend of ours who channels for us um, who, you, you, many of you know who Sasha is. Um, he contacted us a couple weeks later and said, I've been guided to connect with you. And he said, when your trip is over, let me know. I'll, you know, let's get together. And I said, I'm not waiting until my trip's over. <laughs> I want to connect with you now. And when I had responded, it was 11 and he said, the universe has spoken, let's let's connect now, because my, my response was at 111. So we connected the next day um, on a Zoom call, and um, and he said, what's been happening? And I I said, well, not much, and I forgot all about that. I had just forgotten about that, that event in Mississippi. And um, Rick said, oh, tell about the healing. And I said, what? And he said, the guy we helped, we healed in Mississippi. And I went, oh, I forgot all about that. And I had forgotten that I told him that he was an angel too, because Sasha said to me, well, he was a test, he's an angel. He was a, he's an angelic being. And I went, oh yeah, I told him that, I forgot. So I had forgotten all about that. And he said, that was a test for you. Um, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Remember, he said, remember when I said, you're supposed to sell that house and you're supposed to move, but we could never, I could never tell you exactly where you're supposed to go. I could see all these, these places but I could not pin down 
a, a destination. And I said, yeah, right. And um, then COVID happened. So, I mean, we never put this place up for sale. He said, well, that's because you're supposed to be in an RV and travel and and uh, heal, help people that, that way. So well, remember, that's what there are no coincidences, Debbie. Yes. No so that's what our next steps are, is to uh, pare down to the bare minimum of things and live out of an RV. Did you get my message about the Velcro this morning? Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> Am I Velcroing my bee, my birds? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But it's just, it just went whoop. And I said, okay, Rick and Deb, we have bought it by the roll, and you, you'll be Velcroing things inside your Oh, well, that's RV a good idea. That's... It won't be, and I was supposed to tell you, so you were told. Velcro by the Consider roll. Consider yourself told. <laughs> okay. Well, that I get. Velcro. Yeah. And it's, it's sticky on the back and it's just on a roll and you can cut it and it's already it's already meshed together so you, you know both sides are sticky i mean each independent piece is sticky so positive and male and female parts are sticky. um so anyway that's a good idea yeah 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 i thought so somebody thought so yeah wasn't me i'd like to velcro my cats stay there <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand. i'm ready i'm ready Okay, so we stopped and saw Jackie, spent some time with Jackie. And I adored it. I just adored it. And it was too short. It was entirely it was. too short. We had, we had a good time. We, we met uh, her beautiful animals. Yeah, cool. And Jack. And Jack, her <laughs> husband. My husband's name is Jackie, too. So I, I flipped my name to the last name and the maiden name. I flipped them because people are sending messages to him. I was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, work, we worked at the same company. You think that wasn't confusing. No, wrong department, but I will transfer you. No problem. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, they sure. both go by Jackie. Yeah. But I, 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 I just naturally call your husband Jack, so. Well, after we married, his mother, who called him, I was always known as Jack, and he was known as Jackie, and after we married, we flipped it. Then I became Jackie, and he became Jack. So... Whatever. But they have I, the, the exact same first name, Jackie. <laughs> we do. We do. We do indeed. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But I have to tell you, we brought we brought something from Alabama the whole way home. Mosquitoes in the car. Really? Wow. Remember when he cleaned the car? When he vacuumed the car out, we, he took some mosquitoes with us. I got, I had about 40 mosquito bites on my body. I'm not kidding. There you go. I was swollen and red, and I'm I'm now scabbed up, but they're gone. Oh, they're gone. Not I don't think I have any your fault. I mean, I don't seem to have any trouble with them. I keep chopper on heartworm medicine simply because I never know where a mosquito may be. But, um, yeah, I don't ever have any trouble. I was expecting them in Florida, not Alabama. <laughs> Actually, if you All keep your vibration high, mosquitoes won't even come near you. They won't touch you. Well, my vibration was pretty high. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what, I didn't do, what I didn't do was communicate with them and let them know not to touch me. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to talk to them. I went to China and there were a lot of mosquitoes like, you know, in the village area. Like at night, daytime, nighttime, they're just like everywhere. And my aunt gets, well, we're sitting, like we're sleeping in the same bed and she has diabetes and whatnot. And she attract bugs like no tomorrow. And and I, I won't get bitten, but she would get bitten we're in the same bed. It's really weird. I just noticed that. Like, so, I, like I said, I didn't have any bites. <laughs> they were enjoying me. Fresh meat. I haven't had a mosquito bite in years and years. So we have um, just Bobby today and Celia, just yours. Um, do you have a pet too, Katie? I have three birds um, that talk a lot and they're supposed to be from Sirius and constantly giving me heck subliminally. So if they, I don't know if you want to do something with them, but I think that they'll talk to your birds. I don't know about Zeus. This is um, Ziggy maybe, but not. I don't know about Zeus. Zeus is kind of out there. Well, <laughs> what kind of birds are they, Deb? What kind of birds do you have? They're, they're um, Quaker parrots. 
Oh, how beautiful. How beautiful. I have a Paralat and yellow, brilliant yellow canary colored budgie. So those are- Amelia has birds too. Nice. We can get them all caught. <laughs> he had a couple of seizures last week. Oh. Yeah, so I, I tried to, um, he came off of it uh, pretty quickly. I had to uh, force, uh, I, I use Apex water. There's Apex water that I take every day. It's supposed to um, open up your cells to you know, eliminate toxins. So I forced feed it to him and some of my minerals. And it, it, it was uh, helpful. But when, when he perks, it's kind of imbalanced. He's got something in his, in his in his brain. He's got something. Did, did you want to look at the bird again? Yeah, we could. For Rick? Sure. Okay, hold on. Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah, they're pretty. Thank you, sister. He's got something in his brain. It's probably from the fall. Remember the first time I, I had yes. he yes. fell. I do remember a, that. He had a bruise here on top of the eye. how he does on that. I've removed it. So it was a lot of pressure there. Cecilia, what's the name of your birds? Uh, pickle. <laughs> pickle and pepper. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good energy. They've got really good energy. I put some uh, loving energy around in the cage too. Um, yeah, I've removed the pressure in, in, his, in his head. Okay. Thank you. Let they me know what you're doing. I will. They switch loyalty. They're my birds, but they're now very close to my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay, thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Can you, what do you want me to do with your birds? Well, actually, I don't know about my birds, but I have an interesting question. Okay. When I lost everything of the fraud, I lost my two kitties to boot. I have a picture of them together, and I'm wondering if it's possible if you could tell me if one or either of them have crossed over. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and show you the picture. I'm going to do my best and hopefully you can see it. Let me see. There's... There's that ocean here. And then that shadow. Am I getting this right? You can barely see that one. Oh, well there. How's that? He's a big boy. That shadow and that ocean. So I don't know if you could tell me that. Can you hold those up again for me? I really I need to see their energy. I'm, okay. I'm, yeah, I've never done this before, so please thank you for your patience. That's Ocean. Can you see her? That's Ocean. She's crossed over. Yes, I thought she might have been. And him, I doubt he's crossed over, but... Uh, hold it steady. Hold it steady. Both have crossed over. Oh, they didn't do well without me. That's what I mean. I, I don't know the details. I just know that they have crossed over. I, I felt that. And well, I but they all they all reincarnate, so yeah, just of course. understand that. So. Uh, and I'm, I got another question. You know me, the wacko questions. Will you be Will you be teaching us about Archangel Flavier, guardian of the animals? Please, at I've some never heard of that Archangel. Um, that be my higher self. I am here for the protection and the healing of all animals, and that's my mission. And I just thought, oh my God, thank you for putting me back in Devin Rick's path, especially today. So 
Angel St. Cornette, we're here. We're here. Yeah. And why it's not in the Bible. It was eliminated. Oh. Lots of things, but go beyond that. But yeah, that's the mission. Uh, the Bible has been bastardized so many oh, times, yes. Katie. Yes, yes. No, it, I'm way beyond that. Prostituted. I'm way beyond that. I'm way beyond that. I just know my mission, and I know that I have to, as it's called, come out of the closet. And you know what I mean? Like, I've yeah. never said this out loud before, but I did write you an email regarding it. Yeah, I did get your email. I'm sorry. I, oh, I, my brain is mush after a four hour. Oh, I don't expect <laughs> any special treatment. Uh, my soul counterpart is here, at which time we will combine and do the mission. And like, it's all coming together in divine timing. I just cannot believe in all God's creation why they're holding me back. And I am being like, it's not me holding me back. It's for a good reason. So I, well, don't. I don't think anybody's being held back. It's, it is um, the only person holding people back are themselves and they're, yes. and they're not trusting their own. Yes. Confidence. I mean, I did it to myself too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Trust yeah. I, myself. Yes. And sometimes even now I'll 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 sit and double I'll doubt myself. So you know, after after a, a four hour sessions yesterday, I started. Oh, wow. I wonder, did that go well? You know, it did. It did. Even if it was half of it's too. missing from my head. Oh, <laughs> you know, that was did that go me. well? How did it go? How did it go yesterday, Rick? How did it go? Because I'm sitting here in 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 La La Land. You know? It went really good, I thought. There's a lot of new stuff that was that came up. That we, I mean, I'm glad Phil's here. Phil said, oh, are you going to need me today? Because my computer's in the car. I said, you better get it just in case somebody shows up with a... Because I'm not a Ghostbuster. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> if some, some wacko crap comes up, I mean, I'm not. I am a healer. I mean, we're healers. We're not... Uh, the, if the woo-woo stuff hands up, I'm going to have to contact him. So... He's sitting there probably working. Hi, Phil. <laughs> well, I just would like to soulfully thank you because I know that this is going to help me walk forward in what I need to do as well. And I am so honored to be here. I'd like to thank you. Well, um, it's good to see you, Katie. But, and, that's, and the only one holding anyone back is ourselves usually. So trust in, in what your intuition tells you. Trust in the, in the information you're getting. Um, if you're here to help the animals, what does that entail? If you are an archangel, then release all your inhibitions and let it roll. Yeah, that's the hardest part, letting go of that ego stuff we're stuck to so badly. But yes, I'm getting there. So thank you for listening. You're welcome. You'll get there. Thanks. Victoria, did Bobby need some healing again? I would like a, a scan and healing. and But the thing is, he jumped off again. I got him to come up earlier, and then he jumped back down. So do you need a picture of him? Or do you want to see him? He's not asleep right now. Okay. Uh-uh. No, we've scanned him so many times, we're okay with it. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to just check or channel or are you? I just want to check that the um, that there's nothing around Bobby or Victoria right now. <laughs> or the house. I can tell you that I've already picked up something. It's gone. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the dragons did a clear out of the yard and all your house. Look, is anything there? It's fully gone. We flamed it. Okay. Uh, so you said the dragons cleared out the yard and the house? Yep. Yeah, it did a cleansing on it. Great, thanks. And um, I did a, a healing on you and on Bobby. And Bobby okay? Um, yeah, he's fine. That's great. Bringing my vibration back up again. I can feel that. <laughs> it was just difficult timing. Um, but thank you. Thank you for declaring. You know, um, when um, my mom used to be a medium, right? I did tell you. And so she has these shrines in my house. 
and spirits come in and out and these were supposedly guarding the house when my mom was alive but my mom didn't take, didn't, didn't take good care of the uh, the shrine and you know her medium practice she got sick and just left it so I'm wondering are those spirits coming in from those portals or, or are these from outside? If you leave a shrine there and don't do anything of it, it can get abused, I suppose. Things can come through it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Go, isn't it? So what am I supposed to do with the shrine then? Close the gate there? I would close it, use crystal, and leave it there and then with your own in with your own knowledge, you should have uh, intention. And, I uh, thought I'd closed it, um, you know, a while back, quite a while back. How but did I, you close it? I just followed I went over to the um, the site and actually uh, commanded that the uh, the portal be closed and everything like that. But the thing is, it was like you know I just followed some some uh, some site because that time I didn't know anyone. So I didn't have any spiritual friends. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have any spiritual friends. And uh, during the time my mom was really sick and stuff, um, I did want there to pray for the ancestors and, and everything, you know, to help her and to help the family. And But, you know, my mom still ended up passing and everything like that. Then the then the, um, the shrine became useless for us because I'm not in that medium practice and no one else is in the family. And so I tried to um, search on how I can close these um, gates and stuff like that and I've done it you know I, I don't I don't remember who that person is um, some some art archangel channeler um, when I first um, awakened I went on YouTube to find these people and you know I, I followed his technique um, and I thought I closed it but for some reason when, when you have a minute do you want to send us a picture when you have a minute of the shark? You didn't dismantle it, you just closed it in did, ritual. Yeah, did, so I have to take it apart? Okay. Okay, so after the ritual is done, I have to take it, like everything apart. Like, I have to get rid of it? Oh. How did you get rid of it? Oh, I didn't get rid of it, I just left it there. I didn't... Right. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, well, that's fine. the problem is my mom is also has a space there because she's an ancestor. So I had a problem, I couldn't close it like completely. Like my my grandma and everybody, like that's what my mom was teaching me. This this is a place for your, your in family. This is why we have this here. So I don't know. Right. What I would do is send me a picture. I'll see what I can do. So really send him, a, photo, send him yeah. a photograph of it so, so you can see what he can do with it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you can allow certain entities in and then certain ones not? Yeah, oh, There's, they will be away, but I'd need to see. Uh, just an image will connect me to it. Images are very powerful. Okay. Yeah. So right Perfect. now it's an open portal for anything. Yeah, it yeah, could, yeah. It could be. It could be. We just yeah. don't know. Yeah. But, but that's, if you just leave it there, I would have put. I would have set some crystals there, like 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 a, a close. The crystals can close the door. Yeah. A mm -hmm. red one. Do at least one red one in a triangle formation somehow. And what that, that does is it closes the door. I had aliens spying on me and I used crystals to close the doors. So it wouldn't do it. So it's where I closed the door. But remember, it's still there. It's still there. Just you've got the command of the door. Mm, good idea. Thank you. Sophie, did you need healing? You need his eyes open or his ears open? Yeah, yeah, just force them open. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's fine. Open them up like that. <laughs> There was something in his eye, but Philip removed it last time because there was something in the corner. Uh, yeah. Remember, Deb, you said you, yeah. you noticed, yes. and that got removed. Yeah, I, I don't see that that thing in his eye anymore. You know, Deb, I said that to Sophie. She didn't say anything, and the next day she said, oh, "There's something in his eye." <laughs> yeah, yeah. gone now. Well, I, I just think that somebody just taking things out on this poor kitty. I want to see if I can do some like a protection thing around. Yeah, basically, if you ever get anything in eye, it tends to be some sort of entity, some sort of attachment to your soul. You know, and he is an old soul, strange one. I was doing that uh, unicorn healing again. That looks like a horn going through his third eye healing. That old fashioned one you talked about yesterday, Phil. Hmm? <laughs> 
that one that you said that you, the the old oh, right. yeah the old he's one. doing he's doing that in uh, Katie's eye Kat, Katie's eyes right in, right in his third eye right inside see how he does with with this healing Sophie yeah yeah does he put it uh, right through his third eye this time tell that back. I've upgraded the aura field back. Get more Thank perspective. You. He's got more energy. That's more of What do you think about that, Katie? That sounds brilliant. Thank you both. You're welcome. Thank you, Rick, as well. Thank you. The one who actually, uh, uh, if anyone arms a, uh, an animal, it's normally Ariel. It normally sorts the beings that hurts the animal, you know, the human that all hurts. I'm not sure. Everyone. I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, everyone else does. It's you're just late at the party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I actually, do. I didn't get it either. <laughs> oh, you, you said that uh, Archangel. I can't even say the word. Felio and Archangel Dorenka both take care of the animals. The people, Ariel, the Archangel that takes care of the people who arm the animals, the humans, is Ariel. So she. Uh, Talks them. Sorts them out. Yeah. <laughs> she can't find then she's yeah. busy, often. I know. I agree. She hasn't got my temperament. I do probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, okay. I, I want to ask something here. Um, when I first awakened and connected back to Source, I was, my understanding is I am Archangel Ariel incarnated here. Okay. But that's was my understanding it, because I was connected with the elementals and um, working with the elementals and other beings um, I'm just wondering if that's really the case um, that was my understanding and it was my own um, what I was picking up so I, I didn't actually tell anyone about it in the you know in the spiritual community not your, not even to you guys I just mentioned it now since you're talking about Ariel so I was wondering if that really, uh, if I'm really um, Archangel Ariel incarnated here, an aspect. I, I did say if you if you were I vibe, you'd be able to protect probably quite easy. You'd send all the dark. So what do you think? Uh, I don't think about. Because I, I, I was told by, by people that I'm an angel incarnated here, but they never say who I am. And and they, one of my friends before who. Um, He's not a friend anymore, he's gone. But he he said my angelic name means nature. I thought you I I I believe you're a much higher being than an angel angelic being. I, I Yeah, that, that, it, you can be a, a, a you can be aerial and you can yeah. also be iron as well. You yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can be a source being quite yeah. I don't I don't being. see I don't see aerial, but I don't I see something there is something right. higher. There is I something, see something higher. different. Yes, I see something that's actually pure light. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Um, so I don't a wanna... star. You've been a star. I know. <laughs> I know. I just see just this pure light. It's like golden light being. I don't that's know how what... to. Yeah, I don't. Know I can't how even to... describe it. I, I know. I can't even describe it either. Um, I've seen. I've seen. My higher, my higher aspect, I can't even describe it either, so, um, but yeah, definitely. But I believe that um, I do have, like, you know how our soul can be, uh, not, not hybridized, but a little fragment yeah. in there gets, you know, aspects of, with, yeah. I yeah, it can mix up with angels and stuff like that. I, yeah. I have one, I have different ones though, and one of them is connected with the, uh, the aerial lineage. Yeah, right. and, and you like probably could be, but I, I'm only seeing this one being that is just golden energy. Probably a light being, a sort of light source being. Yes, from source, yes. But mine I, is I mean, a, my Anais is a crystal sort of being. So, so what's the difference between my light and your crystal light being? Yours is light, mine is crystal. It's like the energy is different. Mm -hmm. so probably my star was probably more crystal, and yours was probably more light. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been billions of years. It's very hard to understand. Well, there are some 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 beings, some souls who come here strictly for um, 
transmutation, um, some for healing and some for light and some for literally the the warrior aspect. So for me, I'm I'm not a warrior. I'm I'm a healer. I'm a yes. light healer. So it is really hard for me to want to you know even kick someone out of my house who doesn't belong here. You know. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, understandable. The different type of energy you carry also um, dictate what kind of duties and responsibilities you have here. Did you need a healing for a pet? Yes, yes. We have a new baby in the house and okay. her name is Luna. Luna is a cat. She is um, a Himalayan breed. Okay, Can, um, we need to see Luna. You need to see Luna, okay. It's the heel teach love. Okay, so I'm putting a video on. And there's Luna. Hi, here's Luna. Okay, alright. Is she having stomach issues? She is. Okay. doing is we're putting energy in through her third eye and going through her whole system and all her intestines her stomach thank you so much <laughs> she'll feel better in just a few hours you sense she's gonna be okay oh yeah she's gonna be fine Thank you so much. Thank she's you. She's going to get very thirsty, and I want you to bless the water. Just like you would bless your water. Just picture yeah. white white energy in the water and love being written on it. Okay. Sounds great. Thank you so much. And that water is going to go through her and with love as well. We've been, you know, extremely worried about her, so I appreciate that. It'll take a few hours. By Within the next 24 hours, she'll be here also. Thank you. I love to hear that. Thank you. She's very appreciative. She's a sleepy girl, but... <laughs> She's, she loves her mommies. <laughs> and you can tell what is going on with her? Yeah. Oh. You know what she has? She just had parasites. Mm. Wow. Thank Which you. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate it. You're very welcome. You did tell me she um, had a virus, actually, that they can live with, you know, for the rest of their life that I might have to worry about, she said. She'll be fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Sending lots of love your way. Thank you. We do this once a month, so you can come back and visit us if you want. Thank you so much. We definitely will. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Wow. All right. Oh, Jackie, do you want to talk? Do you want me to tell what you did, you guys did for Chopper? Sure. Yeah, I had to send Chopper out of the room. Because I don't want him to hear, and he's gone. So, I mean, he went out of the room. <laughs> so, um, because he understands way too much. Your animals do, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, they. This one, but that one does. Boy, that one yes. really does. But anyway, um, because of chronic ear infections, he has been to vet visits just and on medication for his ears just almost constantly and um, I thought it was an underlying food allergy relate that was probably causing this so uh, in conjunction with a new vet we decided that he needed to go to a teaching hospital that's in our area and we took him and so he went in at 9 a.m. and he came back out at noon and they or the, the vet came back out at noon and said well we can go ahead and do the cat scan if you're willing to wait yes we're willing to wait for the cat scan so that they can look for maybe a tumor in the ear that they were suspecting so long story short he was there until five and when he came out he was groggy under anesthesia still so he rode home two and a half hours he was fine you know a little woozy and the next morning he woke up and he was whining and he this is not his nature at all it's not his nature to whine or complain because he's a bulldog and he would pull his abdomen up to his spine or would try to and he would whine it's highly unusual so that would be on a friday well by friday evening 
he is passing large amounts of blood through his rectum. So I go back to the computer and I look and his discharge summary has since come in. Five pages long, single space type. So, you know, I buzz through that really quickly. And it turns out they tried to palpate his prostate. And they said, due to the size of the animal, we could not could not palpate. Well, they didn't say palpate. They could not reach, I think they said, the prostate. So anyway, he continued Friday night, like hour, every hour and a half, he had to go outside to void blood out of his rectum. Just wasn't bright red, it was rust. So it's somewhere, it's not old blood that's far up in the track and it's not new blood that's near the end of the rectum, but it's it's um, somewhere in between. So since he's large, he's, for you guys that are European, he's 39 kilograms, and I only know that because they said so. Um, we call him 80 something pounds. But um, anyway, Deb and Rick got involved and they worked on Chopper and his, his healing will be ongoing. He was also extremely traumatized by this because he's a very trusting dog. They said, oh, he was so cooperative. He just let us, he did everything we asked him to do because he's a very trusting and loving dog and he's never had anybody abuse him. He's just so, so he went along with it and because any vet he's ever been to has always been, we've always been present with any vet, but he's always very cooperative and he suffered at their hands. And so Deb and Rick have been involved and he is doing better. He's continuing to get better. I'm seeing my old dog back every day, more and more and more, more of his personality coming back, more of his energy coming back. And um, I wrote a rather scathing review when they said, how, did, how was your experience here? Well, the explanations were thorough and good. My dog came out much, much worse than he went in. He actually came out needing care and um, emergency care is what he needed. He got it from Rick and Deb. I doubt that I will ever use Western medicine again. It will always be spiritual from now on. Well, I'm so <laughs> I'm healing for you. Thank you, thank you. Sending you good energy for the rest of his healing. Thank you, I appreciate it. He's a sweetie, I mean, he's just, I think we need him as much or more than he needs us. You know, it's just, um, but the fact that they would violate somebody's trust, his trust, our trust, they are a teaching hospital, and Deb said she didn't really get the number of people that tried. I got the number 10 that tried to, and this is indelicate, but he does have a very large um, rectal opening. It's just, it came that way. Just, and so I guess they just figured, well, we'll just give it a try. I don't know. Yeah. He is progressing and doing well. well. To make a dog bleed like that, it's disgusting. Well, you know, it, it, it's, we're talking probably one fourth cup, and I can't convert that to um, metric. But uh, every hour and a half, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. I, to the point where I was checking his gums to see if they were uh, getting wider. And um, the problem with the problem with veterinarians is they think that animals don't understand or they don't have feelings but they do and they they do communicate with us they do try to communicate with you and um if you just connect with them you start understanding them they do telepathically talk to you this one talks and they were also because this was a dermatology clinic portion of the hospital everything was a tumor 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 and then he's very old, he's 12, he has chronic hip dysplasia that's severe. So I know, I know in my gut that they talked about death. Well, you know, should we do this? Because, you know, he'll be so old, he's going to die soon anyway. Um, their answer is to totally strip out the whole ear canal and only live, leave the flap of the ear, which is going to be horribly painful and traumatic. However, there are, in their According to them, in the CAT scan, there is bacteria encapsulated within cartilage that has turned to bone in response to repeated infection. So anyway, they talked in front of him. He's old. He's going to die. He's got tumors. He's got a nasal tumor. He's got this. He's got that. He knew everything they were saying. He knew it. He internalized it. And um, Deb and Rick have helped with that. They have um, cleared him of that. 
In fact, I think he's blocked. All of that is blocked, cleared, and gone. And that's why I wanted him out of the room. Um, and I would like that Archangel Ariel to come and just... <sighs> hey guys, you know, that was really a horrible thing to do. You violated trust, you violated ethics, you violated your oath. Now what are you going to do about it, guys? Because you violated all of those. Yeah, well, they do it a lot, these doctors nowadays. Uh, for the, to humans and animals. I was going to say that. Okay. Yeah. What about the humans? You're doing it with the vaccines. Well, you know, I expect a human to speak up. Um, I didn't expect my dog to because he will pull you down in the dirt because he's so doggone big, but he is so otherwise gentle. Yeah, well, but, um, well we, we move on. So from yeah. this forward, so we move on with our pets healthy now. He's doing, yeah, he's doing well. He's a, he's a happy boy again. He's our baby again. Yeah. That's all that matters. All that matters. We release the rest of it. Doing well. And I don't even like to spread that out in the house. I probably broadcast it in the house. All right. Just open the window and let it go. Doors open. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Yeah. Be gone. So. Yeah. Anyway, I'm eternal. I'm just very, very grateful for what you did. Very, very grateful. As you know, but I am very, very grateful. And we you know how know important that. he is to we us. You know that. Me too. Thank you, um, Rick and Deb. Um, I'm very grateful for all the healing you've given me and my cat, of course. <laughs> He's a much happier person. And thanks, obviously, you too, Bill. You're welcome. We're very happy. We're happy to do it. I'm happy to, that we we team up with Phil, who's incredible. We make a great uh, threesome. <laughs> <laughs> you do. That's, that's, you do. <laughs> that to me. It's a foursome, really, because Sophie's very much part of this team. Uh, we can't, uh, we can't live without her too. No, she thank does. you. But um, Philip was saying to me the other day that he said, oh, "Me and Deb and Rick got really good energies where we get each other." And I said, "Well, that's really good that you can team up with, you know, like." and work with each other because it takes a while to see the dynamics and um, I know and I, you know I really thought god we, we should be getting two RVs and you guys traveling <laughs> with us over here <laughs> yeah I was that uh, person last night and we were healing she hasn't connected the spirit for a few years she's back running now who? the uh, I, can't, I, I can't remember her name. <laughs> Uh, but she's she's quite into the spirit world. She's very oh. she she connects to grids and everything. She's what and she's been closed for about a year or two. And uh, she even said she's now full fully full, full balance after last night. Amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I got a I got an email from some one of the ones that attended the uh, the um, session yesterday, the webinar yesterday, and she said, "Dear Deb and Bill," and I'm like, "Poor Rick, <laughs> people get his name wrong all the time." <laughs> It's like a mixture of Rick he's, and he's been called Ralph and Doug yeah. and Jim. <laughs> Poor Rick, because he's so quiet here. It's his healing energy. He's the healer. I just get the messages. <laughs> That's all. Yes, we're a team. Anyway, he's got she's, the magic. <laughs> I know. He's got the magic. I just get the information. <laughs> Uh, I'm just a loud that? one. I'm the squeaky wheel. <laughs> you want me to say what she's told me? She said, uh, I, uh, I'd let you know I'm, I've successfully connected my heart chakra to the grids properly, properly for the first time in ages. Feels like I'm running like a finely tuned engine again. That's, that's wonderful. That's amazing. I love getting messages like that. We made a big difference. <laughs> That's, that's my it's dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's Phil's dog. He's healthy. <laughs> he's, he's been run over a few. I close me. Luna's going to be fine. I'm getting the message that Luna's going to be fine. She, this energy will stay with her for um, the next week. So this energy just doesn't go in and go away. This healing stays with her. So, but within 24 hours, you're going to see. Actually, with today, the end of end of day today, you should see a big difference in her. The uh, vet seems to think she has something called feline enteric coronavirus, and uh, I. Oh can my God! 
I have to deal with it for the rest of her life and no. it could mutate into a deadly, deadly strain, FIP, something, you know. Oh, here she we go. Had flare ups for her whole life, diarrhea all the time. She believes this. Which she has, that's her stomach issue. She has had diarrhea for her whole life pretty much. Except for two weeks here and there, she'll be better. And then it goes back to sick again. She's happy. She plays. She eats. That's her only symptom. Can I say something about that? Of course. By what the vets told you, you'll, you'll feel negative energies. You'll be sending it because you you feel that she's ill all the time. So you got to like mindset you to be positive more. That's terrible because you'll have fear for what's going to happen to her. And that's what that vet's create, created, basically. You struggle with that a lot. You, you've got to, you've got to think to the best for for by being positive. More positive, you cast your cat will know, will feel yeah. your energy, will take your energy. Yeah, I know. I've been trying the past few days. I think I've been better in spirits, but of course now that he implanted it in my head. I what do you know horrible, how you feel. What a, what a horrible thing to say and to make up. What a figment. What a, I mean, it's a figment of his imagination that all of a sudden he's going to create this wonderful new, let me create this and I'll be brilliant. Mm -hmm. this, this veterinarian. He, you know, did a stool test and it came back with that. A week it took to come back and... He said, like, uh, many cats actually have this. Can I just tell you that they can't even produce the coronavirus? It doesn't even exist. So that, and this guy's full of shit. It's, he's claiming it's something different than this coronavirus. It's okay. been around for years, he said. It's not the same, I don't know. He's lying to you, so please don't even repeat it again. I hope, yeah. My, yeah. The angels are just like, no. No. Thank you. No. Well, the National Institute of Health, the National Institute of Health um, website specifically stated that all coronavirus are a regular flu. It's just a regular flu. But it says right there on their there. website. Nobody goes there to read this information. It's I know. They, they just... They just accept whatever the mainstream media i mean i just had you know um young and healthy just died of coronavirus because he was unvaccinated 300 articles in one day same uh the same headline young and healthy you know just died of coronavirus because you people you will you will let you you will take a, a very healthy person and scare the shit out of them and accept the fact that they're going to be dying and they'll they'll die because they'll die of because course. you'll you'll scare them into it yep so they this doctor is going to scare you into believing that your cat is sick for the rest of their life and you're going to project that onto your cat yeah. I'm you're trying so this hard is all power too. They're, they're, they're taking take back your power and know that you are a lot more powerful than that doctor okay so stand in your power and and you can also heal your cat we also can heal ourselves we're very powerful beings we have to stop letting these people dictate to us and we need to start dictating to them and say no thank you that's right she's gonna heal strong she is healed she is that saying she is or she, she is healed we is just healed her she is already healed yes mm. stay in your heart don't let these the, the egomaniacs of the world that think that they're god tell you that what you're going to be doing and what's happening in your lives people need to stand up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's why I don't know what the protocols are at veterinarian offices but I know that when they go into humans go into the hospital there are certain drugs that they, if they are uninoculated, because it is not a VA, whatever, if they're uninoculated, they are treated differently. But the two drugs that they need the most are withheld. They stick them on a ventilator. Mm -hmm. It's a death sentence. Yes. It's terrible. It's really cruel. They'll be held accountable, perhaps. You know, I, I don't know. Um, really, they just need to learn, learn to do better. Just 
learn to do better. You went into the profession because you cared. You need to bring that care back into your heart. That's <laughs> what the, Hippocratic, the Hippocratic Oath is out the window with these people. It's a business. It is, it is a business <laughs> to make money. It's not to help anymore. It's supposed to you know, be a healing thing, not um, a fear-inducing experience. Yeah, so... It's, 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 thank you for our um, please all please let us know how she's doing like I, expect to get, I expect to get in the next 24 hours a, a, either a message from you on facebook and for some kind of message saying she's all better she's well, absolutely perfect that's what I expect. From, from me my name is eden i'm not sure you know why it says jim here we're on my father's account but you'll get one from okay. eden <laughs> mm -hmm. all right eden and thank mama. you Thank Are you any more you. questions? I don't think so. I, you know, I have my answer that she's going to be healed. She is healed, and she's going to live I've a, gotten confirmation. a normal, normal life. I've gotten confirmation. How about you, Phil? Yeah. Can, can I do one of my little mini stories? Yeah. <laughs> sure. 2002. I'll be rapid. 2002. Crochet damaged ligament in my knee. The doctors said we need to get you into hospital. We need to pin it tomorrow. I told him, what, when can I do sport again? And he said, no, you have be in a wheelchair in five years and you won't be able to do sport. So I told him where to go. I said, I'll fix it myself. I've not had a problem since that. That was 20 years ago. That's amazing. Yeah. I did do something special on it, but <laughs> but at the end of the day, don't believe everything they say. Really don't right. believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I was learning that in 1982. Yeah, I woke up one morning and I couldn't move. I was like a cement pillar to roll out of bed. And I went to um, osteoarthritis specialist, Dr. Atkinson. He told me I would be taking gold jobs for the rest of my life and that I would be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. And my hands were like giggled up like that. And I said, well, hang on here. I says, you know, do you believe in mind over matter? And he said, what do you mean? I said, okay, so you send 10 people to Arizona and their uh, uh, arthritis is going to get better. I said, why is that? He says, I don't know why is that. I says, because five believe they will and five believe they won't. And, you know, I stupidly paid the $82 for that medication. But I was in a in a psychic group at the time as well, and um, I bought it. And when I looked at it the next morning in the mirror, I said, "You know, Cat, you take that. You'll be taking it the rest of your life." And out it went. I went to my group that night, and it ends up the reason I had the osteoarthritis was because of my last lifetime with the boyfriend I just split up with here and now. Him and I were together in the last lifetime, but he stayed with me out of pity because I was in a wheelchair. So if I get in a wheelchair, he'll come home. And to this day, my hands, I am not in a wheelchair. I do not take a medicine. So people need to dig her and that's just my short story. So please use your own discretion first. Thank yeah. you. I'm so glad you found healing as well. Yeah, you betcha. Thank you. All right.